Xander, it's me. Hey. Did you have any problems with your grandfather's guards? No, actually, they were checking out a false alarm in the greenhouse. How about you? Oh, did exactly as you said. Okay. I brought us some food. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, actually, it was a... It was kind of rough. I mean, knowing that I'm actually not going to be there to perform it with him. Yeah. I'm sorry about this, Emily. It's not your fault. Sorrel escaped. Yeah, but you're in danger because of me. Yeah, and those are the breaks when your boyfriend has testified against a major crime boss. Oh, I brought that for us. We can't go to the bus station looking like ourselves. Sorrel's men may see us, or Sorrel may see us, so I brought disguises. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nobody will notice me, but there's probably eight or, eight or nine guys there with this. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. Looks good on you. Yeah, sexy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the heck? Good eye, right? Oh, right. wait. What? I gotta grab that. What the heck is that? That's for you. Oh, get out of here. No, no way. I'm serious. No, seriously, no. Can I just at least look, see what it looks like? No. Please, <laughs> please. Come here, come here, come here. Shh. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, no, wait, it was right. <laughs> nice. Oh, you look Out of town? Well, no, I, I think that your face is still too recognizable, but bring it along anyway. Never knew you like the biker sort of guy. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I do in you. But hmm. Maybe it's just this place. That's probably it. You know, your new sister, she can send us to the fanciest place on earth. No place will ever be as special to me as this boathouse. Get your hands off her. I knew this flim-flam about your staying away from my granddaughter was too good to be hey, true. Wait, Mr. Quartermain, look. Monica and Alan are much too soft on you. You are going to jail for trespassing. Your Grandfather, aunt. please. She's not even 18. Hey, we were just kissing. So much for your concern for her safety, right? Grandfather! I'll have you hauled away and make sure you never come back again. You can't do that. Give me one good reason why not. Because I invited him. to invite this deviant onto my property? I'll take care of this. Uh, all right, what? Aren't you the one who asked me to help you smooth things over with Emily? Don't you want your granddaughter to love you again? But I don't want this mini hoodlum to be involved. There is a convicted murderer out following Emily's him. Emily's in love. Don't you remember what it was like when you first fell in love with Lila? You couldn't stand to be away from her, even for a few hours? I hope you're not comparing my love for Lila with the ridiculous crush that Emily has on that miscreant. But, uh, oh, I, I get your point. Well, what safer place could there be? She's here on Quartermain property, surrounded by guards. Emily is fine here. Well, I suppose you're, you're right. I certainly don't want her to think that in order to see this degenerate, she has to run away again. Of course not. Well... All right, that's that's good thinking, dear. Just go in there and and and, and work your magic. And, oh, and remind Emily not to be late for the nurse's ball. So, how far away do you want to go? Accept that much. We don't need that much. Come on, there are going to be times when it's going to be too dangerous for you to contact me to send you more. Better too much than too little. All right. That's right. Thank you. All this time I've been with this family, 
I've always had big brothers to look up to, and I, I never thought I was missing out by not having a big sister, but... I know I was wrong. I like it. I'm kind of enjoying the sister thing, too. Hey, we really appreciate this. Really help. Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Look, wait about 15 or 20 minutes, and then I'll make sure the coast is clear for you guys to get to the bus station. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, I'll call you on my cell phone whenever uh, um, you get to the first spot. Sky, there's two more favors I have to ask of you. Uh, yeah, anything. I, I wrote this letter f for Mom and Dad. It Actually, for the whole family. Could you give it to them when we're far enough away? Sure. Okay. And the second thing... <laughs> I know it's, it's kind of silly, but I was uh, supposed to do this performance with Dad tonight at the nurse's ball. I... How's your singing voice? Why? Well, my dad really looks forward to this. It's, it's like a father-daughter performance. That means that the only other person that could replace me would be you. This guy, he would be so disappointed if he couldn't do it. If you show up and make some kind of excuse and then volunteer, it'll be something special for him because... because he'll get to do it with you. Please? Um, just singing? No dancing? That'll get you through everything. You'll love it. Please, this means so much to me. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Well, good luck to you guys. Okay. Thanks. Fifteen minutes. Okay. 